morning, booktube. It's Thea, and it is Friday. It is Tis the season of Thon, day five. Happy Friday. Um, it's about 6.30, and um, I slept in a little later than I wanted to because I wanted to get some reading done this morning. Um, I do have a little bit of time to read before I have to get going. Uh, maybe, like, try to just squeeze in, like, a chapter. Um, but I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone's having a great readathon, and um, my goal for today is just get as much reading done as possible. I've got another full uh, day at training from like 8 to 5, um, but I do have an hour lunch, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of reading done on that, and um, just squeeze in a little bit of reading here and there when I can, and then um, I don't have to be up early or anything on Saturday, and and kind of just stay up late and get as much reading done as possible. But hope everyone has a great day. Happy Friday. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey, Booktube. It's Thea. And I am home from work. It's about 5.30 or so on Friday. Oh, my hair is a mess. It has been raining all day. And my hair is so staticky and frizzy. But um, I wanted to pop in and let you guys know kind of what my progress has been. I have made it up to page 101 in What Light, so I got a couple chapters read during my lunch break. Um, it's still just okay. I'm not loving it, not hating it. Um, I plan on doing a lot of reading tonight. My goal is to hopefully finish it because I'm like 45% through, so I think that if I don't finish I can at least get most of it done tonight. Um, it's pretty early and I don't have any plans um, to do anything tonight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to finish this. Um, and then I did get my book of the month in the mail. And so I figured I would, I would show you guys what I got. I actually forgot what I bought because um, I picked it like early at the month and I just like completely forgot um but I know I got an extra book because I had a credit uh so I'll just show you guys um the book that I picked for December and then the extra book that I got the first book that I got is actually kind of perfect and very fitting for not only the month but also for the readathon and that is One Day in December by Josie Silver I know a lot of people are reading this for the readathon um I wanted to read it for the readathon but it's pretty, it's pretty thick. It's kind of a chunker. So I knew that it wasn't something I was going to be able to get to. And so I didn't put it on my TBR. Um, so I didn't put it on my TBR. And then I happened to see that this was the choice for December. And so I'd like to try to fit it into my December TBR. Um, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It sounds really kind of wintry. And um, basically it says here, uh, Lori is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies. But then, through the mist on a bus window, one snowy December day, she sees a man that she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. This just sounds like it's going to be the perfect December read. Now that it's like rainy and cold, it's just going to be the perfect thing to curl up um, with a blanket and a hot drink and um, dive into this. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So my extra book that I got is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reads because everyone is reading this in 2018. Everyone is loving it. Um, everyone is probably going to be putting it on their like best list of 2018. And um, they hadn't sold out yet or they did and restocked or something. But um, I'm really, really excited to read this. I, I don't think I'm going to get to it before the end of the year. Um, so I might put it on my January TBR. But I'm really excited that I own a copy. It's really hard to find the hardcover um, in stores. And I've been wanting to um, have a hardcover because I just really like this edition. So I'm really excited to dive into this as well. I'm pretty happy with my choices for December for Book of the Month. Um, I feel like they've been kind of, I feel like they've been kind of hit or miss lately. I know I skipped like three months, I think. Not like in a row, but I think I like skipped like three months this month. Um, so, but I'm really happy that um, they had some choices that I wanted. Um, but I'm pretty happy with my choices and I am excited to dive into them. Probably going to go ahead and start editing these vlogs um, and then get a little bit of reading done tonight before dinner. Um, but I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope everyone has a great Friday. Happy reading and I'll see you guys a little later. Bye. Hey guys, so it's about 8.30. I'm kind of just settling in to get some reading done for the night. I decided I was going to take a break from What Light because I'm just kind of 
feel like it's putting me in a slump because I'm like it's kind of slow I'm not like loving it so I said I was gonna go ahead and pick up my book a boy called Christmas by Matt Haig um this is like 230 pages or so but it's a children's like middle grade novel I think it'll be a really fast paced read it's got a lot of pictures the font is really big and it's probably pretty fast paced so I think I can get this done um in a sitting I think I think there's a sprint going on as well um so i might kind of check into that and get some reading done so i decided i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up i think this will be a really fast paced read i think i'll be able to read it in a sitting so um i will check in with you guys um, um but i will check in with my progress and uh check in with you guys a little bit later like 9 45 or so um i wanted to pop in with an update i am at page 68 of a boy called christmas i am really enjoying it. it's really cute um the illustrations are really cute and i'm i really like matt's voice um and the like narrative style i'm really enjoying that um and it's just so cute and innocent and simple and um and uh really fast paced so i think that I can probably finish it tonight or at least get almost all the way through it. Um, I'm getting pretty tired um, and I don't have to be up super early but my dog does have to go for a checkup tomorrow at 9 so I don't know if I'm going to stay up late to finish it um, but I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm really enjoying Matt's writing style and like his voice um, so I'm gonna just power through as much as possible for the next like, half hour um, and we'll see where I'm at but I will check in with you guys a little later. Okay guys, um, it is about 10, 15 or so. Pretty tired so I'm gonna head off to bed. Um, but I did make it to page 80 so I made a oh, good progress. I made a huge chunk. Uh, up early in the morning to get some reading done, but um, I'm gonna call it there because I can't keep my eyes open. Um, but I am really enjoying, I'm really, really liking Matt's voice um, and like his narrative voice, and it's just a really cute story and very fast paced, very easy to read, um, but I'm very tired. So I'm gonna sign off here. I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, um, but I'm gonna sign off here. Good night.